So usually this question is asked everywhere in spiritual sessions. It's a very favorite question of many people. How do we balance spirituality and our uh, materialistic life? Now, if they're really having survival problems, if they don't have enough to eat, I mean, if they don't even have the basic needs, if they don't even have uh, two times food every day, that's a different question. That doesn't even come into spirituality and those people won't even come to spiritual sessions. But this, if people come to a spiritual session and if they ask this, it means their basic needs are met. They have a job, they have a salary, they have a family and everything is going on. And they're telling that these survival needs are taking most of their time and energy and they don't have time for spirituality. Can anybody tell me, how do you proceed with this? Do you simply solace them, comfort them, telling whatever time you have, you do, and then it will help you. And is that done? Is that enough? Or do you see there a need to probe into it? Okay, I'll take an example. Suppose I have a house and my salary is not that big. And therefore, I don't have much arrangements. I don't have a lot of furniture. Let's say I don't even have furniture. I do everything sitting on the floor. It is healthier also. So I do everything sitting on the floor. I eat and I sleep. Everything is on the floor. There is no bed. There is no furniture, nothing. And it saves the space for me. So for many reasons, I don't have furniture. But if somebody comes to my house, I would feel that there must be furniture for others to sit and uh, otherwise it will not look good. Yes? We will simply say that otherwise it will not look good. My simple counter question is why will it not look good? I don't have any problem in making my guests sit, sit on floor. I'm saying if I don't have the necessary means to it. But what I would do is that although I don't have sufficient affluence to do all that, I would still do it. And then I will cry saying I don't have time for spirituality because I'm spending my time on psychological survival. I don't know if you're following what I'm saying. The house is built for survival purposes, for survival of your physical body. What we are doing when we try to make it more and more and more elaborate and uh, make it a kind of showpiece, why we turn it into a showpiece is we are in a way trying to extend physical survival into psychological survival. See, if you have enough money, if it is happening to you effortlessly, you have how much of a furniture you want. I don't have no problem with it. But if the question is already coming as to how I should balance, it already means you are doing more than you can take. Only then the question can come, otherwise the question can't come. If somebody is doing more than they can take, it means so many things are happening, but they are doing so many things for the sake of their psychological survival, no more physical survival. They're trying to survive like someone else. That is the whole problem. It is no more the question of your survival needs taking your time. Your time is being taken because you are trying to survive like someone else. See, this is something unfortunate I have seen in people. They openly say this. I have heard parents telling this when um, they do some things for it, especially when children come, this gets blown out of proportion. And I have, you can see parents telling this openly that if we don't give this to our children. What will others say? Have you heard this statement? Yes. If we give our... yeah. It is said as a very common thing, but they don't realize what they're doing. They're only doing their psychological survival. They're only trying to survive their psychological person from getting hit by the others around them. So what will others say if I don't do this? What will others say if I don't do that? They openly say this. And they will do, they will undergo drudgery, daily drudgery to fulfill those needs. 
supposedly for their children, but actually they are just doing it for meetings or a certain their own psychological needs. They will do this, and then they will ask. They will act as if they are helpless. They are cornered. They don't have time for anything else. No, they do have time. They don't have time presently. It is because of only this. It is only because physical survival is not the problem. It is the problem is psychological survival, and psychological survival can go on and on. It there is no end to it. You can extend it, extend it to any extent. To whatever extent they can, people will go on extending. They won't. Uh, they may not even stop at any level. <clears throat> 